guys welcome to my video i am back with another useful python tip for you guys so in this video we're going to talk about uh, how to find duplicate words in a string so a friend of mine recently had an, inter uh, an interview where he was asked this question and uh, and it's a bit of a tricky question uh, because there are bad bad solutions to this problem and there are good solutions to this problem so i'm going to different uh, i'm going to discuss a couple of uh, different solutions and uh, let's jump right in right okay so that's the string i'm taking and uh, this what i have here is basically i'm taking the string and i'm using this pre-built or inbuilt function called split and to convert the string into a list right so now this variable is basically a list that contains all these words and and i have a variable called set uh, I mean duplicate words which is a set variable and if if you know what a set is in python it basically is a collection of unique elements right and and i have a for loop here basically uh, iterating over this this list right the list that we just created which is essentially the string so now the you know what i'm doing is i'm using another inbuilt or, or inbuilt function called count it's a predefined function that you can use with a string right so th this list so i'm going to count the number of time number of times this word like you know each word appears in this list and i'm if the count is greater than one and then i'm going to just add that you know i'm just i'm just going to add that word to this set because if the count is greater than one that means it's a duplicate word and it goes into a set right so it's just pretty straightforward and and this is a common solution that or the first solution that people usually come up with uh, because it's it's easy right so let's actually see if this works right and so this is the string and let me make sure i comment out the other print statements to avoid confusion okay so i think we're good yeah okay so that actually prints high and and so we have high and 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 that's repeated a couple of times in the string right so those are duplicate words so that makes sense but but this is not an efficient solution right because first of all we have this for loop right and if there is n items in the for loop we have to loop through like basically we have to iterate over that uh, you know that list so so that is actually like if you look at it in terms of big O notation time complexity that's big O of n right if there are five items in the list we need the for loop will run for five times if there are n items in the list the for loop will run for n times so that's big O of n right that makes sense so the other thing that is kind of not obvious is this count function. What this count function does is like given a list, right? This list contains uh, all these words. Uh, so this count function basically for, for each iteration in this for loop, it, uh, you know, it goes through the entire list one time, right? And then it counts the number of times that word appears in the list so so that is actually like for you know so that is actually n times n right so for every word it's going to sweep through the list like which is n items right so so that is actually again a big o of n 
time complexity right so so in this case for high it's going to check this list one time and it's going to check this list one time for high, high again it's going to you know check this list one time so that is actually you know so we have already have a for loop outside and we, are, we have a scan which is done by this count function inside so that makes the 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 complexity of this entire solution a big o of n square so big o of n square is actually quadratic time complexity what that means is as the number of items or as the number of uh, elements in the input increases as the input increases the the time taken by this solution will increase quadratically right so which is not good right so this one is a very short list it's got only five words in this list so think about uh, in a huge text file with maybe thousands and thousands of words so this the time that the solution will take is is going to increase it's going to be a lot right and the main thing is that the, the time will increase quadratically right so if you want to know more about the big o notation please uh, you know check out my other video uh, where i explain big o notation in a bit, little bit more detail now let's jump to uh, another solution which is uh, better than solution one and i will explain why right so now this solution let me make sure i comment out the print statement from the previous solution um, okay so here i have the same thing the string the same string and i'm converting this list uh, the string into a list using the split uh, built-in function um, and okay so we have a count uh, which is a dictionary type variable right it's a dictionary and we have another variable which is a set right a set is again a collection of unique elements so i have the same for loop this for loop cannot be avoided avoided because we at least need to scan through the 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 list of words in the string at least one time to find the duplicates right so we have the for loop again but this time uh, we are doing something better so instead of doing uh, instead of using the pre-built count what we're doing is so uh, we're just gonna you know we're just gonna check keep checking this dictionary what what we're doing is we're gonna see how many times we have count you know we have encountered that word in this in this loop right and in this list right for example the first time we you know we see this for loop actually sees high it's going to check this count dictionary and when the, the obviously the first time it's you know the list is uh, the, the dictionary is empty so it's going to uh, you know this get function will return zero because zero is what I put as the default value right so it's going to return zero and and there is a plus one so high the first time we see high in this for loop it's going to this whole thing is going to give me one because zero plus one one and then I am assigning that you know to the same dictionary so a dictionary is a key value pair right so and to make it more visible i'm just going to print that dictionary every time uh, this for loop runs so and what i'm doing is and whenever if if the count of word right uh, in this for loop if the count of word is greater than one right so we it's going to basically add you know that's actually now a duplicate word 
and that's added to the list the duplicate word set I'm sorry so it's added to the set right so let's actually print it out and that way it will be more visible for you guys so first time we you know we see the word high and then we try to get that high from this dictionary and it doesn't exist so 0 plus 1 that's the 1 because I'm assigning it back to the dictionary itself the sec second time we are seeing the word and and then of course the and word doesn't exist in this count dictionary so it's going to return 0 so 0 plus 1 1 the third time we are going to see high again and you know high this time it's going to return one because we already have high in the dictionary so when we do a count dot get high it's going to return one right this time it's just one plus one so that's two so as you can see now and that two is assigned back into the dictionary for high so so you can see that high is 2 and and is 1 so next we see hello and hello is not there in the dictionary so 0 plus 1 so and hello right so, and then next next thing is and for and it's going to return 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 and that's assigned back into this dictionary right so now we have uh, we have gone through the entire list of you know you know list that was created from the string and we have the counts uh, for each right um, and then each time uh, like when the count is actually greater than one we're basically adding that to the set we're adding that to the set so high and and are added to the the duplicate words set and finally we're printing the duplicate words so so this function or, or this solution is better because we scan through the entire list only once and and of course there are other problems uh, in the you know with the solution and we can talk about it but the main thing is the complexity, the time complexity of this solution is big O of n because we don't have uh, the predefined count function. Instead, we, we just have a count.get. This is a dictionary uh, built-in function and, and this, this get is the complexity, the time complexity of complexity of this get function is only big O of 1 because usually uh, a lookup is implemented using a hash hash table or a hashing mechanism uh, it usually like uh, uh, you know the the time complexity for such lookups is as big O of 1 unless like you have like you know several duplicate items in the dictionary right then then that is the worst case scenario right but but yeah but most in most of the cases will have uh, you know mostly unique items some duplicate items and so on so on average this get function returns a big O you know in this get function performs uh, at big O of one time complexity right anyway so so this is a, a definitely a better solution than the first one right now yeah so the I mentioned like there are you know a few things that are wrong with the solution one thing is we are storing items in uh, you know we have a couple of uh, variables to uh, you know we have a couple of variables right so of course like we you know in you know we decided to basically have a, a set variable called duplicate words that's kind of unavoidable because we want to find the duplicate words and uh, if you're just printing it it's okay but we're just uh, 
saving it in this in this duplicate word set variable that's okay but the thing is again you now for each word in the list we have another dictionary and that is going to um, you know that is going to uh, yeah so so that is going to take some space in the memory right so this is actually uh, you know when the list is big when you have a huge string and you create a list from it so the list is going to be huge right let's say you have a million words in the list so that's going to take a lot of memory so this is not a good solution in terms of space complexity so then uh, you need to think about how you can convert this and convert this into a generator a generator is uh, uses this keyword called yield which uh, you know basically has the ability to uh, pass and return values so i'm not going to go into generator uh, explanation in this video because that can get very complicated but uh, I just want you to understand these two solutions that way if you ever you know uh, run into this question in one of your interviews you can at least uh, write a couple of solutions right so yeah so that's it for this video and and thank you so much guys for watching my my videos even if it is a few people at this point every like every share and every subscribe uh, means a lot to me uh, and thank you so much for that uh, yep and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe guys and thank you i will see you with another video very soon bye